hey guys welcome to my channel today we are going to talk about journal that you absolutely have to know in accounting as the first step so if you are interested continue watching and listen carefully actually you need to understand two things only two things when you are going to prepare journal term number one is accounting rules the rules of debit and credit Without knowing this, you cannot pass the journal entries. The next term is format of a journal. Let's generalize the below transactions in the books of Sam. So Sam is the businessman and he has performed some transactions which has to be generalized. Let's see how the format of a journal is. First draw five columns. First column is a date column. Here you can write the date of the transaction. Second column belongs to the accounts we are gonna record. Third column mentions LF means ledger folio which is the page number of a ledger book. Next debit column where you can record the debited amount. And in the credit column credited amount you can record. Take the first transaction. 2020 January 1st, Sam started business with the cash 15,000 dirhams. For every transaction, there will be two accounts. One is debit and the other is credit. First, you have to identify which accounts are coming in the transaction and according to that you can apply the rules. In this transaction, the two accounts are cash account and capital account because Sam is bringing the capital into the business in the form of cash. Cash account is asset account. Assets are related with the real account. So you have to apply real account rules. Real account rules says that debit what comes in and credit what goes out. Here cash comes to the business so cash account to be debited. Then capital account. It is a personal account and you have to apply the personal account rules. The rules says that debit to the receiver and credit to the giver. Here Sam is the giver. He is the one bringing the capital into the business. So he is the giver. So capital account should be credited. This is how we will pass the journal entry. After passing the journal entry, you have to write down the narration. It is nothing but the short description of the transaction. The next transaction would be on January 3rd paid to bank 5000 dirhams. This means cash deposited into the bank. In this transaction, we have two accounts, bank account and cash account. Bank account is an artificial person, so it comes under personal account and should use personal account rules. Debit to the receiver and credit to the giver. Bank is the receiver and to be debited. Cash account is asset account and you can use real account rules. So cash is gone out from the business, it should be credited. Then write the narration. Other transaction is purchased goods from Krishna 1500 dirhams. Keep in mind that if purchased goods, you should use the purchases account. If purchased any other items than goods, you can use the items accounts, not purchases account. This transaction's two accounts are purchases account and Krishna's account. If we mention the supplier name in the transaction, we can realize that it is credit purchases. Purchases account, you can use either nominal account rules or real account rules. This is because purchases comes under both accounts. As a nominal account, purchases account is an expense and to be debited. As a real account rule, purchases account is an asset, the inventory comes into the business and to be debited. That's why we are saying that you can use either nominal account rule or real account rule. The next account is a Krishna's account. Krishna's account is a personal account. Krishna is the giver. 
so it should be credited don't forget to write down the narration what is the next transaction on january 7 sold goods to john on credit 400 dirhams the two accounts are john's account and a sales account john's account is a personal account as he is the one receiving the goods from us as per the rule receiver to be debited so john's account to be debited sales account is an income account because we sold the goods to earn income as per nominal account rules incomes should be credited write down the narration then gonna next transaction on january 10 returned goods to krishna as you know that we had already purchased goods from krishna maybe some of the reasons like the product was damaged or the supplier shipped a wrong item etc sam returned the purchased goods to krishna purchase return also you can apply either nominal nor real account rules we have identified two accounts in this transaction krishna's account and purchases return account krishna's account is a personal account and to be debited as he is the receiver of the goods purchases return is income or asset account if considering income or asset account it should be credited as it gone out of the business write down the narration on last transaction january 13 purchased a machine from volta's company 2500 dirhams as i said you earlier when purchasing any other items than goods you can identify the accounts as the same name of the item not a purchases account our two accounts are machinery account and volta's company account Machinery account is asset account and you can use real account rules. It comes into the business so to be debited. Volta's company is personal account and is the giver of the machinery to Sam's business. So it should be credited. Okay. Then write the narration. Keep some points to remember when you are doing journal. First point, it's not compulsory to start the narration with being, like uh, being started business, being paid to bank, etc. Also, the second point, no need to or not compulsory to add account or a bar C after each debit and credit item. The third one is not compulsory to add the suffix dr after debit item and prefix to before credit item that was it for you guys today thank you so much for liking this video thank you so much for commenting below your suggestions and kind words that motivates me a lot moreover thank you so much for subscribing this channel and watching my every single videos Thank you and I will see you very soon in my next vlogs.